Hey guys, Tom Shu here, and today I'm just going to give you a quick tip on setting up Photoshop for optimal performance when working with large files. You see here that uh, there's Half Dome. This is at Yosemite, and this is actually a large file. The reason why it's so large, it's 2 gigs in size, is because I've got a whole bunch of layers. It's a panorama. Let's zoom back out, and you can see that it's just a bunch of files together. When you're working with these large files, there's some tricks to keep your computer from falling on its face. If you come over here and click on the edit, well first of all let's talk about this. You want to run in 64-bit. Now if you have a Mac, to make sure you run in 64-bit you have to use the Finder, okay, in your applications. Uh, look for Photoshop using the Finder and then select the icon that's for Photoshop and say Get Info. Now if you have the little, uh, the checkbox check that says Open in 32-bit mode, deselect that. You want to make sure that you're in 64-bit mode. If you're concerned or you want to know what mode you're actually running in, if you go to the help and click about Photoshop, it will tell you. Actually, we're running here in 64-bit mode and we're running extended. The reason why that is is 32-bit mode can only access around 3 gigs of RAM, whereas 64-bit mode can access 100% of the RAM that's installed on in your machine. So let's get into this. You go into the preferences, which is right below the screen here where I'm recording but you click preferences and click general that will load up all the preferences okay this general kinda lets you set up how you want it to to be and uh, I actually use this uh, hue color wheel for my heads up color picker that's a different tutorial but uh, it's a pretty neat option but we want to go down here to where it says performance you click on performance now it says memory usage Right now it says this is how much RAM I have installed. And first of all, Photoshop cannot use 100% of the RAM. And if you're like me, when you use Lightroom to kind of load up your files into Photoshop and save them back into the catalog, it Lightroom itself is using RAM on your machine. So consider that when you set your, your memory levels so you don't get an out-of-memory error. I run mine somewhere around 70 to 75 percent depending on what I'm doing. Since I'm using this large file, I'm going to kick it up to 75. And the scratch disks are very important because these hard drives, they kind of take the overflow from whatever happens with RAM. It writes everything to hard drive. Now if you have SSD drives like I do, I have two solid state drives on my machine. My C drive where everything's installed and then I have kind of a that's where my operating system is installed on my main hard drive. Then I have another SSD drive that I use for a scratch disk uh, to handle my various Adobe programs. So the reason why I say this is significant is you want that scratch disk to be at the top of the the order of your of your scratch disks. And how you move them around is because by default H was down in here alphabetically. So D H Okay, so if you want to move it up, you just basically select and grab the arrow to the right here, and you want to put your your first scratch disk on top. Now I have a backup disk, which is a three terabit standard hard drive, a three terabyte standard hard drive that's located directly underneath. So I have both of those selected. So scratch disk order is important. So put your SSD on top. That's the main thing to understand. And then history states. I keep mine somewhere around 50. Uh, cache level. Now I run mine at 8 because I'm using large file here and I adjust this sometimes but I run it between between 6 and 8 usually. Now the cache tile setting this has to do with if you're going to be retouching things and using a lot of brush tools or you're doing a lot of processing stuff where you're you know batch processing maybe or video stuff. So if I'm going to be using a lot of brushes I just set it to like 132 or 128 okay and then uh, for the tile size for batch processing I set it to 1024 let's so work on big files we're gonna set it at 128 today and we're gonna click OK now these preferences won't take effect to your restart Photoshop but I hope that these settings will help you the same way they help me working with these large files and keeping my computer from running out of memory so that's it I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today until next time we'll see you soon